What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chris, and I'm back at again with another banger video. You already know what I am reacting to. You see the chain? You see the chain? You know what I mean? Rappers getting their chain snatched. I'm very interested to see everybody that will be on here. So, enough of me talking. Let's get straight into it. But before I can continue, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're not, please like this video and comment something down below in the comment section. Enough of me talking, man. Let's get straight into this reaction video. Being a famous rapper will make you a target. When you're moving around with expensive jewelry, anything can happen. Let's check out these rappers who got their chain snatched. Shy Glizzy. Shy Glizzy is a rapper from Southeast Washington, D.C. He grew up on 37th in one of D.C.'s most dangerous hood. His dad got killed when he was less than a year old. Oh, wow. He was raised by his mother and grandmother. Shy was in the streets from an early age. At nine years old, he got arrested for petty larceny. Then, at 16, he was arrested for robbery and spent 14 months in juvie. Damn, While he was locked kid. up, he started dabbling with music and kept writing songs once he got out. He started getting the buzz in the early 2010s with tracks like White Girl and I'm Awesome. In 2015, he was featured on the Double XL freshman class list. But that same year, Shy Glizzy got his chain snatched at a show in Memphis. Shy was out on tour when some Memphis goons pressed him and stole his chain. Oh, wow. A local rapper named Big Moda went online to confirm the rumors and take credit for the robbery. He said his crew asked Shy to do a feature, and the rapper refused. He said, we asked you nicely to do a song, you said get the f*** out your face. We asked you not to do a song, you said get the f*** out your face. So you stole dude's chain because he didn't want to work with you. You stole dude's chain because he didn't want to work with you, for real? Niggas is... Shoot, boy! Because he didn't want to work with you? Hold up. Local rapper named Big Moda went online to confirm the rumors and take credit for the robbery. He said his crew had shot to do a feature, and the rapper refused. He said, we asked you nicely to do a song, you said get the f*** out your face. We asked you not to do a song, you said get the f*** out your face. Come on, man. So apparently Moda and his people felt disrespected and decided to teach Shy a lesson. A few days later, Shy pops up on Instagram, showed that he got his chain back, and acted like nothing happened. But according to the dudes who stole it, Shy had nothing to do with getting it back. They was cool black youngster who Shy knew through Yo Gotti. Black Youngster brokered a deal between Shy and Big Moda to get the chain back for 10 bands. Mm. They originally wanted 50, but he agreed to let it go for 10 out of respect for Black Youngster. Okay. Oh, no copyright. Wow. So we taking chains because niggas don't want to work, work with us now. Okay. So we on that. We on that time now, see. Uh. Shy later dropped a remix of the song Cut It by Young Dolph and OZ Genesis. On the track, he took shots at Big Moda and the dudes who jacked his chain. On the song, he raps, Boy, how you want a feature? Ain't got no cheese? I wasn't about to let your fat ass come Debo me. I'm just running through South Memphis with my OGs. He also denied actually getting his chain snatched and said it just fell to the floor. He raps, Chain hit the floor and Broke Boys had a f***ing scrimmage. Oh, wow. You say you a robber? I'm saying, so why you ain't got my bands? One of the dudes who allegedly snatched the chain went on social media and said the song was all cap. He claimed Big Motor punched him, but not hard enough to knock him out, so the chain couldn't have fallen to the floor. He also said Black Youngster was the only reason he got his chain back in the first place, so he should be grateful. Black Youngster didn't come get the chain for you. We sold it to him on the street to him. We fought with him. Big Motor later dropped his own diss track called Suspect, where he banned Shy Glizzy from Memphis and clowns him for his pose in the photo that went viral. Shy still continued with his career, and nothing really happened after that. Okay. But it definitely had fans looking at his music in a different way. If you thought that was wild, this next rapper got a chain snatch after a big fight at the show in D.C. Quavo. The Migos are one of the biggest groups in I forgot about this one. After 10 years in the game, they stay relevant by dropping catchy hits and club bangers. But even the Migos ain't safe from chain snatchers. And in 2014, Quavo allegedly had his jewelry taken at a concert in D.C. Many fans forget... But early on in their career, the Migos beef with Chief Keef and GBE. Mm. The beef started in 2013 after Keef thought he heard him sneak diss him in a song. He tweeted about it and went back and forth with Offset and Takeoff. They told Keef they would be in Chicago next week and that he should pull up. But Keef just clowned him in response. After that exchange, the Migos dropped a diss song called Jealousy, which really started the beef. Keith responded by dropping his own diss tracks called Mando and Pull Up. The Migos then announced they were shooting a video with Lil Durk and Oblot. 
Around that time, Dirk and Keith had problems since Keith ain't built Dirk out of jail in 2013. Mm. So it was a clear shot at Sosa. Dirk confirmed this by tweeting that the Migos could come to O Block and shoot the video. The Migos replied to the tweet by asking, who said we can't? And Dirk responds with, a nobody. While in Chicago shooting a video, the Migos took a photo with Boss Top, another rapper from O Block who grew up with Keith. Keith and Boss Top were also having problems at the time. Boss Top supposedly ran up in Sosa's crib when he was in court and sold a bunch of stuff, including the signature Johnny Dang chain. So when he took a pic with the Migos, he was flexing that chain. Not long after that, there was a fight between the Migos and GBE Capo at a restaurant in Chicago. The Migos posted a video after the fight where they were screaming at Capo in the restaurant and said they caught him slipping. Capo clapped back on social media, calling the Migos soft because they had a crew of 20 dudes with them and he was by himself. At that point, Fredo Santana, who was close friends with Capo, stepped in and shut it down. He told the Migos to stop playing with Capo or he had their whole camp killed. He also made it clear that anyone still rocking with the Migos would be seen as a knock. About a week later, the Migos was performing in DC when a huge fight broke out. It was allegedly started by GBE affiliates and somehow, one of them got away with Quavo's chain. Mm. Chief Keith went on social media after to show off the chain and confirmed they was the ones behind it. Wow. But instead of retaliating, the Migos played it smart and squashed the beef. Later that year, they all posted a photo together to show that they was now cool. According to rumors, OGs like Gucci Mane and P from QC stepped in to help settle the beef. They wanted to make sure the situation wouldn't turn violent. It turned out to be a good move. Getting the chain snatch can be enough to destroy a rapper's career, especially if they come from the streets. But after they settled the beef, fans moved on and forgot about it pretty quickly. But I forgot about it. I paused it because I want to say I'm glad. I'm glad that I'm glad that we're having other people like step in, like other people that's higher or something like that. You know, I'm glad. I'm glad we're having other people come in. You know, step in, you know, squashing all the beef, and you know, while being grown adults, and we're like, hey, let's work together, and that's what they did. I'm glad. I'm glad. But. I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on the first one, though. Because I'm like, that's crazy. Because he didn't want to work with you, though. Wow. You thought that was crazy? This next rapper got a chain snatch at the show in Greensboro, and not long after, the alleged thief ended up dead. Oh, Jay snap. Youngin. Jay the Youngin is a rapper from Bogalusa, Louisiana, I know him. best known for tracks like 23 Island, Elimination, and Ops. He started dropping music in 2016 with the mixtapes Young Animal and Rough Way, which gained him a buzz in the city. His song Interstate quickly racked up over 4 million views on YouTube in under a month, which started to attract attention as well. In 2018, he dropped the track Elimination off his 23 project. The video racked up millions of views and became his first major breakout hit. Mm. Since then, the rapper's established himself as one of the most promising up-and-coming artists from the South. But his come up ain't been perfect, and he's had plenty of beats and problems with the law since blowing up. He even got his chain snatched once at a performance back in 2019. The rapper was doing a show in Greensboro, North Carolina, when there was some kind of altercation. A video of the fight leaked to the internet and showed the rapper about to exit the stage before being pulled back toward the crowd. It's hard to tell exactly what happened from the oh, video. Oh, Snake yanked the hell snake. out of him. But after the concert, rumors went around that Jay got his ATK chain snapped. Oh, Snow, whoa, 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 whoa. They yanked the hell. They full force that. The stage before being pulled back toward the crowd. It's hard to tell exactly what happened from the Sheesh. video because it ain't the best angle. But after the concert, rumors went around that Jay got his ATK chain snatched. Jay's cool with Young and Ace, the rapper from Jacksonville who started ATK. Yep. The two have collabed together several times and even have a project together called Can't Speak On It. So he gave Jay the Youngin an ATK chain to show he was part of the crew. After the robbery, a bunch of Greensboro dudes hopped on social media bragging about how they stole Jay's chain. Jay responded on his IG story, telling them, Y'all so goofy. Stop capping for the net. You n thieves. Ain't take shit, but the wrong choice. Young and Ace got on social media and told him they had one hour to return the chain back to Jay the Youngin. Not long after that, Jay went back on social media and showed everyone that the chain had been returned. The next day, rumors started to go around that the dude who took Jay's chain was murdered. A 21-year-old man named Aaron Thomas was shot and killed in his home in Greensboro. Mm. After Thomas got killed, Jay and other rappers from ATK went on social media to mock his death, making it seem like they was responsible. But a dude who was close to Aaron Thomas, named Lil Murden, did an interview where he said they was all capping for the internet. He said Aaron's murder had nothing to do with him, and that Jay and Ace paid him 25 racks to get the chain back. He said he wasn't even gonna speak about it. 25 racks. 25 racks. See... For this video, I just want to know, like, for everything, what's the truth to everything? 
because you know you have a lot of people saying this a lot of people saying that i just want to know the full-blown truth but paid them that much money if that is true damn and that Jay and Ace paid him 25 racks to get the chain back. He said he wasn't even going to speak about it, but the dudes from ATK was doing too much by making it seem like they caught a body. He even went as far as FaceTiming the dude who snatched the chain all on camera. He confirmed it was all capping and that ATK never slid on anybody over that situation. They may be lying, but Lil Murder makes a good point. Saying if they really sit on this homie, they wouldn't be talking about it on the internet. So, it seems like Jay got caught slipping and tried to save face by pretending he killed the dude who robbed him. But it's not just the up-and-coming robbers who had to deal with the chain snatchers. This hip-hop legend had his jewelry snatched on stage during a performance in Africa back in 2008. 50 Cent. Fifty? Fifty? 50 cent? Oh, man. What? 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 Fifth? I want to hear this. Hold up. It's on stage during a performance what? in Africa back in 2008. 50 cent. 50 cent is a hip hop icon from South Jamaica, heck? Queens. He lit the industry on fire with his debut album, Get Rich or Die Trying, Hard. which is considered an instant classic. But just because you're a respected rapper, don't mean you're safe everywhere. In 2008, the rapper had his chain snatched on stage during a concert in the African country of Angola. 50 was performing with Lloyd Banks and Tony Ayo at the International Peace Festival at the Citadella Pavilion in Luanda, Angola. There was limited security, and fans was able to interact with the group on stage. Most people was just chilling, having a good time. But one dude had different plans. In a video of the performance, a man can be seen jumping on stage and grabbing at 50's neck. Oh, you're buddy. shoves the guy off stage and then jumps into the crowd you're after buddy. him. Someone close to g Unis has 50 caught up with the fan and punched him in the face. The dude wasn't allowed to leave the venue until they found the chain and 50 left the performance with the piece still around his neck. A man named Bruno Cavarlo was later handed over to the police after footage was leaked to the public. Cavarlo's own parents turned in their son after seeing the footage and he faced criminal charges for the incident. The guy probably thought he could hit a quick lick on an American artist. But what he probably didn't realize was that 50 Cent was a rapper that wouldn't hesitate to follow him into the crowd, punch him in the face, and still have him arrested for the robbery. But it goes to show that if you're going to take the risk of snatching the rapper's chain, you better be ready for the consequences. And y'all, that's the end of the video. Y'all heard what he said at the end, right? I was, look, I was going to have a whole little, like, little speech or whatever at the end, but he basically just said what I, what I was about to say. I only kept my mind shocked about the first dude, because I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm still just thinking about that, because dude didn't want to work with you, so you want to do that. In the end, the 50 Cent one. I didn't, I, I didn't even know about that. I didn't even know about that. That's so that one, that really took me out. That shocked me. That shocked me. But, yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment if you're new to the channel. Please subscribe. And, yeah, everybody tuck your chains if you need to. Uh, have your gang around you, you know what I mean? Just don't get the chain snatched, you know what I mean? To anybody out there, don't get the chain snatched. I thank y'all for all of the support. And, yeah, I'm out. Peace.